Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're going to start by looking at Canva and we're going to look at creating um, a persuasive poster, I guess, that really elicits uh, an emotional response. Um, so our students might be researching uh, charities, uh, businesses and organizations, and maybe there's some sort of uh, campaign that you get your students to create. I'm going to show you how easy it is with the Canva app for iPad. So I'm, I'm going to use a template that's just a Twitter post uh, size template. Uh, just because uh, it's kind of suiting what I'm doing today. We're going to select a, um, a template that um, we think we can kind of use in regard to our here. So we'll just go down a little bit here. Um, and I think I use, just looking at it quickly, um, this one here, which is the bread one. Uh, wine all you want, uh, which is interesting. And so we're just going to use that template there. And then I'm going to quickly jump into Safari and just show you a quick search. So uh, if I do a quick search here on uh, Sad Child Alone, because our campaign is going to be um, for the homelessness. So I'm just doing a quick image search. So I'll click on images. And this is a really good thing to teach your kids to do as, as a um, as an avenue for digital citizenship and so forth. So I've got some awesome images here, but we know that we can't use them all. Uh, some of them are copyrighted and we can't, we've got to teach our kids not to just grab images off the net. So really encourage them to hit the search tools and really encourage them to go to the usage rights. It's something that we should teach all our kids from a very young age um, about uh, copyright, about uh, using others' images and giving credit and all that sort of stuff. So some great images there, but once you actually apply some of these filters, they're not so much. So um, I've grabbed a, an image that I can use today. So I'll jump back into Canva. Um, and basically all we have to do is I'll go to my uploads and I'll go to my photos. And it's as simply um, as uploading and then dragging that image over into the background. And you can see there, it takes a little while to come up. I'm gonna delete that text there. I'm gonna move this text over here. And I'm gonna change that to, uh, uh, we all need a home. So just a really, uh, really simple message. Uh, I might make that a little bit longer. Um, and so we've got the basis of our persuasive uh, poster that elicits a response there using really powerful imagery and a quote. And what we're just gonna do here is just play around with the image a little bit. So I'm gonna click on that background, make it a little bit bigger, drag that over a little bit, forget about the white, have that child on the end, make that a little bit bigger. And now I can probably, if I'm clever, and I might just reduce that text a little bit. Let's go down a little bit, because I want it all on one line. There we go, and move that into a space. I'm gonna move her over a little bit more so we can fit that text and just bring that down a little bit. Tick, you can see a filter's been applied there. Just move that over a little bit and a little bit more that way. And you can see there, I'm starting to get the basis of a really, really good quote. We'll make that just a tiny bit smaller just so we can see the, the good impact and talk about design and move that there. And you can see there, we've got the basis of a really good persuasive poster simply using Canva, um, doing some image search. It would be even more powerful if we can get our kids uh, taking their photos, their own photos. Um, so it's an original piece, but you can see there how easy it is. And some of the deeper level thinking that comes about when we use uh, graphic design in this way with our students. So if you haven't checked out Canva, it's definitely worth checking out. So that was a quick um, poster, a persuasive poster that elicits an emotional response. Fantastic for upper primary and uh, secondary students, really getting them to think about the power of imagery and the power of persuasion. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly signing off.